I don't know that there was one particular moment or, or occurrence that uh, prompted uh, the beginning of high tech. I always wanted to uh, uh, run my own business. Uh, and after 15 years in the gas turbine business for one of our customers, uh, I decided that that would be the place I would want to be and, and the business I wanted to be in. Something that was technical, uh, something that not everybody does. I, I'm driven by doing things that the average person doesn't do. The early days of high tech uh, uh, probably are marked more than anything by very, very long days. Uh, but one thing I was committed in those early days to do, and that was whenever I was rewarded with a job, I would exceed the customer's expectation. I would exceed it in, in time, that is deliver ahead of schedule. I would do things that uh, were above and beyond what the customer expected. And I would apply engineering uh, techniques and technologies uh, to, to help him further what he was trying to do and make a better part. We're, we're in an industry that uh, literally lives hang in the balance. Um, you, you don't think about sitting on a plane and uh, whether or not the engine's going to break down or, uh, or uh, if a doctor's in the middle of an operation if the power's going to go out. So what we do here is, is extremely critical. We know the function of the part. We know what that engineer's faced with. We know what his constraints are. And we also know he needs to design a part that's highly producible for best success. Our technical vision is to stay in front of, of everyone else. We have always taken it upon ourselves to develop technology that other folks do not have. And once you become a leader in that technology, you basically have a bullseye on your back to maintain that competitiveness, and that, that leadership in the industry. You constantly have to go look for very creative and innovative ways to make yourself better than your competition. We have transitioned from a do one thing to a part and send it back to buy the part, do every process that's required for the part, and deliver a component ready to put in an engine. If they don't get the processes completely manufactured in one shop, they're looking to move those parts all over the country, sometimes all over the world, to have those processes done on their components. It saves them time, saves them money, and basically gives them a better quality part in a shorter period of time. The prime engine manufacturer that can bring the best product to the market gets the lion's market share. And we help them bring their product to market quickly and efficiently. I think the growth has happened uh, for high tech because we stand out, we set ourselves apart in our capabilities, uh, in understanding our customers uh, product, processes, uh, the application of, of a gas turbine, how it works. When we sit down with a customer to discuss any new project, we discuss it one-on-one -on -one from an engineering standpoint. We're always looking forward into the future. We never want to look backwards. When the rest of the, the industry was kind of sitting real still and a little bit hesitant about what was going on, we looked forward into the future and said, you know what, our customers are going to come back with many more orders and they're going to be looking for space, equipment, and manufacturing time. And we've already started the process of making sure that we can supply that to them. Right now, the, uh, the future looks good in gas turbines and alternative fuels are being sought out. And there are a lot of power companies adding gas turbines all over the world. The need for energy is continuing to increase and our products end up in every country in the world. The creative processes that we are able to put together as a team, technology is, is not, nuts, not just nuts and bolts and computer software. It's also a factor of people, how creative they can be, um, how diligently they work at, at creating a, a better process, a more robust process, 
a process that yields higher quality and less time. That technology is something that high tech has always been a leader at and we hope to always be a leader at. We've just finished a, uh, a large building expansion. We have uh, a tremendous amount of equipment and we're expanding our process capability. Uh, we believe the next five years and all the data tells us that there's going to be continued growth in the gas turbine business, both aircraft and industrial gas turbines. Uh, high tech will continue being what we do, but we will expand into other processes, other equipment, just broaden our base, and we think that there's a tremendous future.